Just let me devour you at the start. I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belonged. But the job... the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so useless. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful, too. Oh, I've had enough of this. As soon as I swallow that coward, Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too. What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Uh, team building? Ugh. Because over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the General of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the Lawfu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escape to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. 
I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions... There's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies so we can eat, kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we heliobi were carefree life forms. But we're tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? Don't get ahead of yourself, Shiras. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Ah! The door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking. This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. <laughs> 